Welcome back, travelers. In that video, we shared information about Emily's kit, rarity, and weapons, but the information about the kit was a bit vague and incomplete. But today, we have more information. First, please remember that this information is still in its infancy and may change in the future. Version 4.8 is scheduled to be released on July 17th, which is still two months away. However, beta testing for 4.8 will begin on June 5th, and full information about her kit will be available on June 6th. That is, if she is released in version 4.8. Getting to the point, according to information from Shiro, Emily is a female character with yellow hair and glasses. I've seen all the concept art of Emily and none of them have her wearing glasses and only two have yellow hair. This is the only art that matches this information. Therefore, we are still not sure what she actually looks like. Next, Emily is a Dendro character. As for her rarity, it would probably be 5 stars. Yes, there's a good chance we'll see another 5-star character in 4.8. According to the information, Emily is a sub-DPS character and she can do quite a bit of damage. The good thing is that she doesn't rely on burn reactions for high damage. She is also an off-field Dendro applicator, whose efficiency is similar to Hakushin. As we all know, Hakushin got better after the release of Furina, but according to recent information, Emily's release will indirectly strengthen Hakushin. Remember the new artifact set Unfulfilled Thoughts added in the current patch? This artifact set is basically for Emily and may be for future Natlan characters. Amelia depends on her attack power and the Unfulfilled Thoughts two-piece set provides the character with an 18% attack bonus, and a four-piece set increases the damage your character deals by 50% when you leave the battle for three seconds. Additionally, if the burn's opponent is not nearby for more than six seconds during the battle, its damage bonus will decrease by 10% every second until it reaches 0%. On the other hand, if there's a burn opponent, it increases by 10% and reaches 50%. This effect is activated even if the equipped character is outside the field. According to current information, Emily is an off-field DPS and her kit is related to burn reactions, so it's clear that this set was made for her. It is also mentioned that Emily is not suitable for catalytic reactions. For those who don't know what a catalytic reaction is, it is a group of three elemental reactions that include dendro and electro, quickens, aggravates, and spreads. Quicken is triggered by applying dendro to a target already affected by electro or vice vaporize. However, this reaction does no damage and applies a quicken aura to the affected target, which decays over time. All in all, Emily seems like a decent character at the moment, but we won't be able to confirm anything until we see her in the beta, scheduled for June 6. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel.